Hey guys, GamersWNJ here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this simple flip-flop switch. Now this is a new design that I haven't seen anyone use before, but it uses a type of one-tick piston glitch. So if you take a look at this piston and this block here, you can see it very, very, very quickly toggle. If I can hit it right. As you can see, the light will stay on, and if I hit it again, it will immediately shoot the uh, the block out. Even though it's a sticky piston, it won't retract it back. And that's how it works. So this doesn't require a lot of materials, but you do have to put these two pillars to block off these this redstone torch and this piece of redstone here. So, whoops. So, uh, let's just get to the tutorial then. So what you need is a few blocks of your choice and everything in my inventory except that sign. You don't need a sign. So what you want to start off doing is building an upside down T-shape with one button on there. Put a redstone torch on that side, a redstone dust there. Some more blocks on the bottom. One block, one sticky piston facing this way. One block here. Put one redstone torch down there after making a type of V shape. Put another sticky piston facing the other way and a block right there. And that's basically how you do it. Now you can just get a link of redstone to whatever you want. So again, you have to cover these two up if you don't want people to see your redstone. And I'm just going to put a lamp right here. Actually, I could just put a door so you guys know that this does work for doors. You know, doors will be a little bit more complicated since you have to put wire underground. But, you know, doors are used more than than um, the other stuff. So, I figure. Let me just very quickly rig this door up. Now, as long as your circuit is uh, short enough, you won't really need a repeater to save your life. And there you go. So what will happen is when I press this door, uh, when I press the button, actually, the door will stay open until I repress it. So there you go. It's staying open. I can walk through it, do whatever I want. And when I want to close it, just hit the button again. There you go. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you know anybody who does use this design, um, please tell me. I'd like to see if they did it first or if I was the first person to find this out. And if you ever do use this design, please make sure you give credit. It really helps our channel grow. Thanks for watching. This is GamersWNJ, signing out now.